Brawl Stars has been through a lot of changes since 2017 when it launched into beta, and only the most OG of players will remember most of these. The Brawl Ball goal used to be an object on the field, not the end of the field itself. Not long after Brawl Ball was released, it was redesigned and you actually spawned behind the goal. However, there was a huge problem with this. What teams would do is after they got a goal, instead of cornering the ball like they do now, they would take the ball back behind their goal and keep it there. It was next to impossible to get the ball out of there and score since the team spawned right on top of it, leading to drawn out and frustrating games and was generally considered a big mistake. But no mistake could be as impactful as the two times that Supercell really screwed up. Now to understand how Supercell screwed up, you have to remember boxes in Brawl Stars. Now, if you're new to the game, think of them like star drops, but ones that you had to buy, and they had way more stuff in them. Now, a couple years back, Brawl Stars messed up for about 15 minutes in the shop and had an insane offer of 140 mega boxes for $2. And there was a huge amount of outrage because the lucky few who were online got to purchase this before it was removed, and those who weren't, well, they just missed out. And people were salty but this is not the only time that it happened one other time there was a similar offer where you got 49 mega boxes for 49 gems that one didn't last long either and it wasn't offered to everyone so it may have been even more rare than the 140 mega box offer the newest thing in brawl stars is the new ranked mode and before that i'm sure you probably remember power league but before that there was a mode called power play now this was a rather strange mode and it didn't last a long time it was essentially power league but you could only play three games per day and the season would last two weeks long you got points based on how well you did in the game and if you completed certain objectives like say winning gym grab before the match spawned the 15th gym or winning 2-0 in brawl ball you would get what they called an epic win and you would get even more points now at the end of each season you would be rewarded with star points which is yet another currency that is no longer in the game Star points were mainly used to buy skins, but they really didn't make like a ton of skins that were purchasable with star points. And so what most players actually use their star points for were to buy mega boxes at the end of each season. So we played a game mode that's no longer around to get a currency that's no longer around to buy boxes that are no longer around. Yeah. A lot has changed. But star points are not the only currency that has been changed or removed. You used to be able to purchase or receive tickets from boxes. Now, these tickets were actually once the source of the best form of progression in the game. Tickets were used to play weekend modes like Robo Rumble and Big Game. You could spend up to 20 tickets per match, and if you did really well in that game, you would be rewarded with a bunch of progression in the form of tokens yet another old currency. And while it was the best way to farm resources, it was also incredibly boring to do because there was no increase in difficulty for the robo modes and every game was exactly the same. Another thing that was rare in boxes and something you can no longer get were gems. You could actually get gems from boxes as a bonus item, but even those boxes themselves have changed. Before they looked like boxes, they actually looked like safes. And then after that, they added even bigger safes, even rarity specific ones. And eventually they got changed what looked like a big shipment of boxes before eventually they morphed into the brawl boxes that many knew before they were removed. But it wasn't just boxes that were removed as there had been a number of game modes that have been removed as well. Those range from weekend modes like Super City Rampage where a big purple dinosaur would try to level a small city and it was your job to stop him but was rather boring to bigger ones like siege where you would collect bolts where it would spawn big bots that go across the field and attack the enemy's ike and this used to be a permanent mode but was never super popular however siege wasn't the only mode where you collected bolt and i bet not many of you remember the game mode called bot drop it was a really odd mode where bots would fall from the sky and you had to kill these bots collect the bolts that they dropped and the team at the end who had collected the most bolts won it went away after a season and has never returned, much like the game mode called Hold the Trophy. Now, unlike Trophy Thieves or Present Plunder, which come back every year, Hold the Trophy was not nearly as fun. There was a trophy on the ground and you had to pick it up and, well, 
hold it as the name suggests. And if you held it long enough, then yeah, you won. The game would basically turn into a turtle fest and not very many people liked it. However, a brawler that was well liked though was Rico. Now, you may have the Ricochet skin that Brawl Stars gave away, but the reason it exists is because when the game launched, Rico was a rare brawler, not the super rare brawler that he is now, as well as his name was Ricochet. Then in early 2019, they changed Ricochet's name to Rico and in the process made him look much less cool. And speaking of looking less cool, there was a time when Piper sugar. lost all of her teeth. Goodness gracious! After an update about four years ago, Piper had her profile icon remodeled and in the process, they removed her teeth. And it was disturbing, although sometimes I still use this profile icon in videos just because I find it funny, but they did fix it in the next update, but not before a lot of memes were made and even Brawl Stars laughed at themselves for the error. While the next one isn't exactly an error, it is perhaps something that they could have given more thought to, and that is the name of Jim Grab. You see, Jim Grab wasn't always known by that name. In fact, it was originally called Smash and Grab, and... I'm just gonna let you figure out why that's not, probably not the best name for that mode. So names, currencies, and game modes have all been changed, but also the brawler's abilities themselves have seen pretty drastic changes. Now, some notable ones that spring to mind are for Mortis, Gale, Brock, and Daryl. Now, the most drastic of them is Daryl. Currently in game right now, Daryl Super lets him roll seven tiles to get close to people to take them out. But back in beta, it was three times that length at 23 tiles and you could roll across the entire map and he was absolutely broken in heist. However, Mortis was broken in Brawl Ball where every dash he took was as long as Coiled Snake is right now. They nerfed him and added the star power Coiled Snake which allowed him to have that long dash but now that power is a base ability of his kit. So they took a special ability and they made it standard just like they did for Brock and his incendiary star power. Brock leaves a patch of fire on the ground after each rocket blast but that patch of fire used to be a star power instead of one in his standard base kit and it was generally thought to be the superior of his two star power so brawl stars just made it a base ability and reworked that star power altogether and the same thing happened with mr p as his shots used to not bounce at max distance they would only bounce if he hit a target or a wall but once again there was a star power that was so heavily favored by players that it became a base ability now gale was heavily modified as well when he was first released his shot was much wider than it is now and he had huge balls Snowballs, guys, it's, we're, we're talking about snowballs here. Also, when using the super, of course, he knocks the enemy back, but he also knocked himself back a small bit as well, which was changed. And speaking of knocking things around, you might remember when bumper tiles were in the stunt show season, and I personally really liked them. I thought they were a lot of fun, but they weren't in friendly battles or in map maker, or at least they weren't supposed to be. Apparently, the bumper tiles share some code with cactus blocks because right after the update it was discovered that when you use the cactus and map maker on brawl ball maps they function the same as bumper tiles and that led to some really fun maps being made until brawl stars came in and fixed it and ruined our fun but they couldn't stop us from having our fun when they uh you know what i don't know it just seemed like a good segue but Remember when all the brawlers had sort of like different classes? For instance, Crow was a toxic assassin, Piper was a sniper, Mortis was the dashing assassin, Tara was a skirmisher, Amber was a fire breather, and Edgar was an emo brawler that needed to be deleted. Okay, that last one may not have been in game, but it's still valid. And if Edgar would have been around in the old brawl ball, he no doubt would have been scoring on his own team. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, you used to be able to score on yourself, which I thought was fine for the most part. I mean, it made you be careful and it added another layer of difficulty. However, there was and always will be those teammates who just want to troll everybody. And normally they came in the form of Mortis. He would dash to the ball right when the game started, grab the ball. And once he had it, you couldn't stop him from walking backwards right to your own goal as he would score on your own team. I got to believe that that would be Edgar now if it were possible. It also wasn't always possible to use a creator code in the shop. 
They added this feature back in 2019 and if you don't know how it works, all you do is you enter a code and it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it donates 5% of the money you spend to the creator of your choosing, meaning it's a way to support the content creators at no extra cost to you. And I know that I speak for all of us when I say we appreciate your support very much. What are some other things that you remember about old Brawl Stars that new players might like to know? Let us know down below.